Hello YouTube, the gun nut here. Well I just got back from the range and doing a little bit of uh, chronographing of hand loads. I took a half day off work so I could go do that and then I, I'll start out rolling some range footage and then get back to uh, what I saw with the chronograph but we're gonna look at 55 grain loads and 60 grain loads. Well here's the setup. Been uh, doing some chronograph testing today. Not doing as well as I would like though. Range has been a little busier than expected and the chronograph hasn't been working. I just got her working again. Been testing out a variety of loads. Everything from 60 grain VMAX to 55 grain FMJs and soft points to getting ready to test some 55 grain VMAX. Next up is uh, Nosler 55 grain flat base tipped Armageddon putting shots over the crony at a distance of a hundred yards doing five shot groups twenty six eighty five 26 grains of CFE, 223. Left, 2634. Split the middle of those two, 2543. to the right. The trigger jockey here is not doing so good. Twenty-five twenty-four. Five shots of Nosler. Let's get that. Alright, we got some Nosler 55 grain flat based hollow point loaded up. Shabby. All right, I got some PMC loaded up just to do a little comparison to factory loads here for Crony. 223 Remington, 55 grain, full metal jacket. Check this out. Twenty-seven thirty-nine. No wonder. Pretty big difference. Twenty-seven oh nine. All right. I'm going to start with the sixty grain loads. The first lines here were from a previous chronograph trip, and I just wanted to use it as a comparison. Now I did not record the temperature, but that trip was during warmer months, so I'm thinking it was probably at least 60 degrees. And you know, as everybody knows, uh, as it gets colder, your velocities typically go down depending on the powder you're using and how much it's affected by the temperature. So with 60 grain Vmax Reloader 15, 25 grains, back in warmer months, I had about 26, 25 feet per second out of my uh, CMMG with a 16 inch barrel. Then this range trip 60 grain VMAX same charge same bullet 2570 so we're about 55 feet per second slower because of the colder temps in the CMMG. Now an interesting aside I also used the same load in my Grey Wolf AR I got 2632 so that was about 62 feet per second faster than the same load through the CMMG which I thought was interesting since it also has a 16 inch barrel and it was the same temperature conditions and everything and it was quite a bit faster 
And then I also shot some 60 grain Freedom Munitions, some of their uh, reloads, VMAX. I just wanted to get a feel for how my hand loads compared velocity wise. And I was at about 2505 with a CMMG. It's, mine were about 65 feet per second faster at 2570. And then the Grey Wolf was 2605 compared to 2632, so we had about a 27 feet per second difference. All right, moving on to the 55 grain loads. We'll start with the Full Metal Jacket CFE with 26 and a half grains of that. We're at 2593, we'll call it, out of the CMMG. Also loaded uh, some of the Soft Point Hodge, or, um, Hornadies with 25 and a half grains, so we had a grain difference in CFE. Two different bullets, but I'm seeing about 113 feet per second difference with that one grain and that different bullet. So this is probably closer to what I would maybe be looking for in a 55 grain as a kind of a good velocity or an okay velocity. I know these are not super fast velocities, especially for 55 grain bullets, but it is 16 inch barrel and it was cold, so keep that in mind. As a gut check, I did uh, crony some uh, 55 grain full metal jackets from PMC. What I got out of the CMMG was about 2680 feet per second. So we're running about mm, about 80 feet per second slower with that 26 and a half grain charge of CFE. And then also out of the CMMG I shot the Nosler 55 uh, flat base tipped with 26 grains was 2578 Call it 2579 round up compared to the 2592 with the with 26 and a half grains, but that other bullet. And then if we move down to the VMAX, I shot Hornady 55 grain VMAX. These I was using H335, 24 grains, and I got a 2568 feet per second average with that. Going to the uh, the other gun again, I saw the same phenomena that Gray Wolf shoots faster. So let's move up uh, with the Nosler, flat base tipped, 26 grains of CFE, where we saw 2578 or 2579 with the CMMG, we got 2657. So we're looking at about a 70 or 80 feet per second difference there. And then I shot the factory loads also with the Grey Wolf, and I was at 2747. You're just seeing around a 70 feet per second difference between the CMMG and the Grey Wolf there as well. So a note on accuracy, I tested all these loads for accuracy before I ran them over the crony and I wasn't really shooting for accuracy. I was quite happy with the 60 grain VMAX, six shots into eight tenths of an inch when I was doing chronograph testing. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. 1.3 inches, 1.24, 1.67, but I had a four shot cluster on three quarters of an inch. See the results there. Under an inch, uh, 0.95, those Nosler flat placed hollow points. These PMCs don't shoot for crap in my gun. Well, I hope you guys did get a uh, good info out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Please hit the like button. You guys be safe out there. Thanks for watching.